this is not your regular algebra question trust me it's not your regular algebra question because you cannot solve this with just the knowledge of algebra trust me okay so welcome to today's class and let's get straight to the point because i'm going to introduce a very nice feature or a very nice function that we are going to use to solve this so but first of all let's leave this power alone and shift this to the other side okay so we have 3 to the power of y is equal to 30 minus y okay all right so let me just interchange this is better for me like that so i'll write that 30 minus y is equal to 3 raised to the power of y perfect now what do we do next we have um, 3 to the power of y here. So let's divide through by 3 to the power of y so that we are going to have 1 here. So if we do that, we have 30 minus y divided by 3 to the power of y is equal to 3 to the power of y divided by 3 to the power of y. Perfect. So what we have now is what? 30 minus y multiplied by 3 to the power of minus y yes because when you have one over x if you want to remove this one over and bring it up it becomes x to the power of minus one so because this is one over three to the power of y if i bring it up it becomes three raised to the power of minus y perfect like i said you can't solve this with normal algebra knowledge so see how we are going to do it now this is equal to one let me introduce the function <laughs> The Lambert WO function, okay? Okay, now what is it all about? This function states that if you have something like x e to the power of x and you introduce this function to it, all right, you are going to get x as your solution. So, for example, if you have 3 e to the power of 3, okay, and you introduce the Lambert WO function, you are going to get 3 as your result. Now, we are going to manipulate this question to look exactly like this. So, whatever I have here is going to be what I will have as my numerator. And what I have here must be E, okay? Then, I'm going to introduce my W Lambert function, and I'm going to get the solution. Now, we are going to do that together. It's actually easy. Because looking at this, I can make this power to be exactly like this if I can introduce plus 30 to this place, right? So if I write 30 minus y, it's already like this. But I can't just introduce plus 30 here. What do I do? I have to do that to what? Both sides of the equation. Now, for me to just introduce plus 30 here, recall that a to the power of m plus n, okay, is equal to a to the power of m, multiplied by a to the power of n right now if that is the case that means for me to introduce this 30 that i want to introduce now all i need to do is to multiply both sides of this equation by what 3 to the power of 30 that's all so let's do that now we are going to have 30 minus y all right then we have 3 to the power of minus y multiplied by 3 to the power of 30 okay is equal to 1 multiplied by 3 to the power of 20. 30. Perfect. Now, let's continue. So, we'll now in, uh, use the normal indices that we know, the law. So, we have 30 minus y, okay, multiplied by 3 raised to the power of, we are going to pick one 3 and we are going to add the powers. So, it's going to be 30 minus y, right? Is equal to 3 to the power of 30. Perfect. Now, when you look at this, you feel like it's now very okay. Yes, because about according to the lambda W function, if you have something like this, x to the power of e raised to the power of x, you get x. So we have the same thing here and here, but recall that it must be e. Yes, so what do we do? All you need to do is recall that e raised to the power of lin x is equal to what? x, all right? So that simply means that if I replace this 3 with e to the power of lin 3, I've not changed anything here, okay? So that is exactly what we are going to do. So I'll write 3 minus y multiplied by e raised to the power of ln 3, which is this. Now, this is raised to the power of what? 30 minus y, okay? All right. Is equal to... 
3 raised to the power of 30. Now, we have another problem. What is that? Recall that in the function, it must be x raised to the power of e to the power of x. What you have here is what you will have here. Now, when you look at the power, notice that what we have is 30 minus uh, 3 multiplied by 30 minus y, right? But what we have here is just 30 minus 1. That means we need to add lin 3 here. We need to multiply uh, this side by lin 3. That means we're also going to multiply this side by lin 3. So let's go ahead and do that. But before that, let me expand this. So we have 30 minus y, then e raised to the power of lin 3 bracket 30 minus y, okay, is equal to 3 to the power of 30. Now, let me introduce this to this side. This lin 3, let's multiply this side by lin 3 as well. All right, so we are going to have lin 3 bracket 30 minus y raised to the power of e lin 3 30 minus y, right? Is equal to, that means we are going to multiply this side again by lin 3 as well. So it's going to be 3 to the power of 30 lin 3. Perfect. Now, at this point, we have the same thing here and we have e. And we have the same thing as our numerator. So this particular place, we can now introduce a lambda w function here to get this as our result. Okay. But when you introduce that here, you also introduce it to this side. So we are going to do that. So we have w lambda function, lin 3, multiplied by what? 30 minus y, e to the power of lin 3, multiply by 30 minus y, okay, is equal to the Lambert function 3 to the power of 30, lin 3. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Now, according to what I discussed with you, once you have the same thing here and the same thing here, that means your solution is what? Lin 3, 30 minus y, right? So it means that this side automatically is 30 minus y multiplied by lin 3. Okay, is equal to, but this side, we are yet to get exactly what we want from there. Do you understand? Yes, because before this W lambda function, we work here, whatever we have this side as our numerator must be what is going to multiply the other side. Hope you remember. All right, now permit me to clean something here. Let's clean it like this. So this is what we have now 30 minus y multiplied by lin 3 is equal to W lambda function of now, let's re, uh, write this 30 as 27 plus 3. Yes, I'm trying to do something. Since we have lin 3 here, ln 3 here, let's multiply this by 30, 27. Let's um, call 30 as 27 plus 3. Okay, so we have 3 to the power of 27 plus 3. All right, lin 3. Okay, so we have 30 minus, so I don't want, okay, since we don't need this anymore, I don't want to write this without spacing it out because this particular function is something you need enough space so that you will understand what I'm doing. All right, so this is what we have. 30 minus y, lin 3, is equal to, I'm copying this, the w of what? 3 to the power of 27 plus 3, ln 3. Okay, perfect. So we are going to express this using the law of indices then, okay? So this is 30 minus y, ln 3, is equal to this of... um. Now we are going to express this as 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 27, okay? Then we have ln 3. All right, so we have 30 minus y, ln 3, is equal to the function of... Now, I'm going to introduce this to the other side. Do you know why I'm doing this? Recall that when you introduce a W Lambert function or Lambert W function, it's going to be... So it's going to look exactly something like this so that you get your x, all right? Do you understand? Now, all I'm trying to do is to make sure that what I have this side is what I'm going to have the other side of e. Now I'm going to introduce my e, but before that, let me shift this to the other side so that I can introduce my e. So I'll now have three to the power of three 
ln 3. Then I have what? Multiply by 3 to the power of 27. Okay, so we have 30 minus y ln 3 is equal to this. 3 to the power of 3 is 27. And I have ln 3. Perfect. 27, 27 is coming together. Now, recall that we can rewrite this as e to introduce our e, right? We can rewrite this as what? e to the power of ln 3. This alone. Then this is raised to the power of 27. Perfect. So we have 30 minus y ln 3 is equal to this. So we have 27 ln 3. All right. Now, we know that when you have this, this will just multiply this, right? Just like in indices or in exponents. So this same thing as e to the power of 27 ln 3, right? 27 ln 3. Okay. So we have 30 minus y ln 3 is equal to this. Now, when you look at this, we already have, let me remove this. We already have the same thing here and the same thing as exponent of our e. So when we introduce this function, we are going to get this as our result, right? So we have 27 ln 3. All right. I'm going to clean this to finish this up. Okay. Let me just clean like this. All right. So this is what we have. 30 minus y ln 3, okay, is equal to 27 ln 3. We are here. So we are going to divide this by ln 3, divide this by ln 3. Then this we cancel this, this we cancel this. Now we have 30 minus y, all right, is equal to 27. There is no need for this. All right. Now let's collect like terms. So we have 30. This plus 27 we cross to become minus 27 is equal to minus y we cross to become plus y. So we have that 3 is equal to y. That is y is equal to 3. And I want you to watch this. 3 to the power of 3 will give you what? 27. 27 plus 3 will give you what? 30. Without this function, there is no way you are going to solve this. Okay? Now, thank you so much for watching. Do have a lovely day.